Hello, in this video, we're going to do a problem involving arithmetic sequences. The question is to find a sub 1 and d given a sub 5 and a sub 11. In this case, a sub 5 is negative 17 and a sub 11 is negative 2. And in all of this, the sequence is arithmetic. Let's go ahead and carefully work through its solution. We have an arithmetic sequence and we have to find a sub 1, which is the first term, and d, which is the common difference. Let's start by finding d. So to find d, we have to create an equation using a sub 5 and a sub 11. You want to write um, the one with the higher subscript first. So a sub 11. And you want to ask yourself, how do you get to a sub 11 from a sub 5? In other words, what do you have to add to a sub 5 to get to a sub 11, to make this equation true? Well, you have to add six copies of D, so six common differences. And you can easily see that. Just subtract 11 minus 5 is 6. This will always work, okay? Just subtract these two numbers. So to get from A sub 5 to A sub 11, you have to add D six times. You just keep adding it over and over again, so 6 times D. Now we can plug in the values of A sub 5 and uh, A sub 11 into this equation to solve for little d. So a sub 11, we said was negative 2. That's equal to a sub 5, which is negative 17, plus 6d. We can solve this equation for d. We can add 17 to both sides. We get 15 equals 6d. And then finally, we can divide by 6. So we get d equals 15 over 6. 15 over 6. And this should reduce, uh, let's see, 3 goes into 15 5 times. And 3 goes into 6 2 times. So we get that little d is equal to 5 over 2. I'm going to put that in a box because that's an accomplishment. Now we just have to find the first term, which is a sub 1. So to find the first term, we can use either a sub 5 or a sub 11. Let's just use a sub 5. We can create an equation. a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1. And then we have to ask ourselves, how many times do we have to add d to a sub 1 to get to a sub 5? Well, 4 times, so 4d. We know a sub 5, it's equal to negative 17. And we don't know a sub 1, we have to find it. And we know d now, so this is 4 times d, which is 5 over 2. And again, the trick up here was the same. 5 minus 1 is 4. And originally, we had 11 minus 5 is 6. That trick will always work. That's really the key step in this problem. We can do some simplification here. 2 goes into 4 twice. Then 2 times 5 is 10. So let's rewrite our equation. Negative 17 equals a sub 1. Then 2 times 5 is 10, so plus 10. Now we can subtract 10 from both sides, so minus 10, minus 10. We'll finally end up with a sub 1 equals negative 27. And so that would be the first term in this particular example, a sub 1. So hopefully this video has shown you how to find uh, the first term, which is a sub 1, and the common difference, which is d, given two other terms of an arithmetic sequence. Again, the procedure is you start with the one with the highest subscript, in this case 11. You set it equal to the other one and you ask yourself, what do you add to a sub 5 to get to a sub 11? You have to add d six times. And you can just easily verify that by subtracting 11 minus 5 is 6. You plug in a sub 11 and a sub 5. You solve for d. And then you do the same thing with a sub 5 and a sub 1. By the way, you could have done it with a sub 11. You would get the same answer. Just in case you're curious, it would be a sub 11 equals a sub 1 plus how many d's do you need this time? Well, 10 d's because 11 minus 1 is 10. And then you go from there and you should get um, the same answer for a sub 1. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful to someone out there in the world who is learning mathematics and studying arithmetic sequences. Until next time, good luck.